I shared a video about controlling squash vine borers by planting timing. And there's another way to control squash vine borers that I'm going to try out as we move into the summer months here in Central Florida, and it is called trap cropping. I've never done this before, but apparently squash vine borers love blue Hubbard squash more than any other variety. They love it. It's irresistible to them. And it is also stink bugs, the squash bugs, also prefer blue Hubbard squash. And so what you do and what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these blue Hubbard squash. I'm going to plant them in five gallon buckets like this. Um, and I'm going to get them growing. And in about two weeks, I will take them out to the garden and I'll set them at the ends of my rows. And I'm going to water them um, every two to three weeks with systemic pesticide. This one is imidacloprid. Imidacloprid, it's toxic. Like, you don't want this on your edible plants. It's not made for edible plants. It's made for uh, flowering plants in the landscape. And so we are not ever going to eat these Blue Hubbard squash, they're going to drink in the pesticide. They're going to become toxic. They're going to become all of that toxic nakedness is going to be contained in this five gallon bucket. And the squash vine borer adults are going to be attracted to it. They're going to lay their eggs on it and the eggs are going to hatch and they're going to chew into the stem, which is toxic to them and they will die. And the squash bugs, those stink bugs, the brown ones, are going to flock to it. They're going to lay their eggs all over it. The nymphs are going to hatch. They're going to start sucking on the stems, and they are also going to die. And so this is going to service my entire garden. It's going to treat bugs on the spot. I'm going to um, pick off all of the flowers because I don't want any um, toxic pollen being... Uh, made available to all of the beneficial pollinators in my garden. So that would be the one, uh, well, that's the second. So I'm planting them in the buckets so that the soil remains there and not in my garden. I'm also going to pick off all the flowers so that it does not bloom and toxic pollen kill all of the beneficial pollinators. I'm not having that happen. So that's this is the second way to control squash vine borers um, that I am going to experiment with and the squash bugs. And so hopefully as we go into the summer, uh, both of those pests will be dealt with and leave my other plants alone moving forward into the summer months. I'll let you know how it goes.